Hindu nationalist influence in Australia. Prime Minister wears symbol of Hindutva group. During an event hosted by the Vishwa Hindu Parishad, or VHP Australia, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison and opposition leader Anthony uh, Al Albanese have been photographed wearing saffron scars bearing the banyan tree symbol used by the militant right by a militant right wing Hindu nationalist group. Previously, Home Affairs Minister Christina uh, Keneally wore the same scarf while attending a function hosted by the same organization. Australia's national elections are to be held at the end of May. It is speculated that these faux pas result from Australian politicians trying to pander to the rapidly growing Indian Australian population while seemingly unaware of the bigoted ideology behind the VHP. The VHP's Hindutva uh, political ideology is based on the explicit desire to consolidate Hindu identity, quote unquote, protect Hindu Dharma and combat conversion to Christianity and Islam and the implicit desire to establish India as an ethnic Hindu nation state. Back in India, this has even resulted in the murder of missionaries and their children. Unfortunately, these Australian politicians are unwittingly lending legitimacy to this organization and its ideology, both in Australia and abroad. Wait, how can we tell that what he's wearing is a Hindutva thing and not just a Hindu thing? Well, unfortunately, you can't see it very well in this picture, but it is. So the VHP has um, a very specific logo that looks like a banyan tree, and it was on these scarves. Maybe I can find another, a better photo. If you I guess so for people who are no, new here, Hindutva goes... Hindutva is in some, I mean, it's related to Hinduism, obviously, but it's just a lot more and a lot different. It's a lot more political. I mean, as Hinduism is political, but Hindutva is a lot more. How do you, Susanna, if you wanted, because people in Norse mythology in the live chat is asking, what does Hindutva mean? Like, I don't know how you feel. I mean, you just already said you, you described it. I mean, yeah. And that was kind of like more specific to the VHP. So, um, Hin Hindutva basically the word itself basically translates to Hinduness, and so it's about yeah. building a political consolidated and organizing around a Hindu identity. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas previously Hinduism hasn't necessarily been seen as this unified identity so much as a way of life, um, and this has materialized in a lot of ways across india um but there are there's a whole umbrella organization of hindutva organizations that in many different ways it varies from organization to organization um has the desire to really strengthen and embolden um majoritarian politics in india um, and so a lot of this manifests in a lot of conspiracies about Hindus being replaced in India, conspiracies about the minorities in India enacting a great deal of violence on minorities in India. Um, and uh, I mean, I could I could go on and on. Did, did that help explain it at least a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Uh, Secular Proton just became a member. Th hey, Secular Proton, thank you for being a YouTube member. I uh, just became hey, a Satan's... congratulations. Satan's, thank you. Satan's, yeah, it became a Satan's minion. And Music Guy saying, welcome to the gang. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for Music Guy for welcoming our new members in the live chat. Um, um, okay. So I think one thing that's important to discuss is the fact that um these are the vhp australia and the vhp in india is technically a different legal entity um and they're using they're trying to use charity as a way to exert influence within australia so they use their charitable status in wow. australia to bring right. vhp to platform vhp leaders bring them to Australia to platform them to do charitable things like um, promote Sanskrit education, um, promote. That's good. 
practice of Hinduism. Um, oh, that's not But good. then it also is very ideological. It's very ideological. Right. So um, under the cover, so guys, like it's kind of like the Confucian centers, which sounded pretty good because, you know, it's hard to fight these things because it seems like you're just anti foreign culture, which are, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they are like, you know, China, uh, the CCP does this through cultural centers called Confucian centers as well. And they're not just Confucian centers, like they're like, but it just, they are ways for, for CCP propaganda. But the, the problem is that if you say that you seem like a right leaning loon, right? Because it seems like, you're looking at these culture, these beautiful cultural centers, and you're like, that's oh, it's Chinese, so it's the arm of CCP. Like you look so hard, it, looks, <laughs> it sounds so horrible. Are you looking at these cultural Hinduism centers and like that's not just a cultural center, that's like it, it, this is Hindutva. And they have real like the problem is that right leaning loons do uh, sometimes look at beautiful culture that is being spread and see that as propaganda even if it's not so if you actually point to these examples where they are actually propaganda for like a regime or something um more than just a culture you're gonna sound like those right in loose so you don't know like oh my god i don't want to be grouped with those people so how do i tell people about this i think the way to do it is to tell people how much you like the spreading of culture and how much you're pro Okay, you have to remind them that I'm how pro migration you are. Okay, that might be a good thing. I can be a listen. I can be a right leading loon. I am pro migration, and I'm also and I also pro you know culture. Pro these like as you know, Chinese culture is beautiful. India Hinduism culture is beautiful, but this is not that. <laughs> like I don't know how do we do that? How do we tell people about these things? Um. I think, you know, you just have to like pull back the curtain on specific organizations, mm -hmm. you know, like when there is something that's legitimately fishy about a specific organization, just talk about that in particular, not promote a sense of you need to look at them all with this, you know, a deeper look, you know, that oh, yeah, is yeah. not wrong, but just saying like, Hey, this one we've established, it has links to other stuff back in this other country that's really dangerous and hurting people and right, they're right, using right. their platform here to try to whitewash what they do or try to gain support or if right. you lend you know i think that's way more fair and legitimate yeah. than maybe if you could find one if you could give examples of ones that are okay maybe they would be like okay you're not just anti an anti-hindu bigot or anti-chinese bigot you know what i mean they would be like mm -hmm. look these other ones this is here this is a good one this one is not doesn't have any ties um yeah oh, oh no, you were asking about the symbol so in this picture of scott morrison on the thumbnail if you Most look because... underneath his left hand you can actually see the vhp symbol a little bit the tree symbol underneath his left hand oh yeah yeah, yeah. i see yeah it. right see there it. okay okay uh north mythology just became a member oh Thank fantastic so that means we're super close to new emojis Thank you guys Ooh, for becoming okay. a member. If we get more members, Thanks. we can add more emojis. Um, yes. Wait, so there I'm, for, okay. I want to actually answer Norse mythology's question in more depth. So this is from an article in ABC Australia that said, who are the VHP in India? VHP India was founded in 1964 with the objective to quote, organize, consolidate the Hindu society and to serve and protect the Hindu Dharma or religion. It was set up to counteract what members viewed as aggressive and unwelcome proselytizing among Hindus by Christian, Christians, Muslims, communists, and atheists. VHP in India is opposed to all religious conversions and aims to strengthen Hindu education and observance around the world. Um, the VHP is positioned as a cultural organization which aims to build the cultural ped pedagogy of Hindutva, a form of H Hindu nationalism that aims to build a monolithic Hindu culture or identity. Um, certain academics compare them to the Proud Boys. Um, and 
a 2020 report by Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs describes VHP India as a member of the Sang Parivar, an umbrella term for a Hindu for a group of Hindu nationalist organizations affiliated with the Rastriya oh, Sawa, Sayam Sevak Sang or RSS paramilitary volunteer movement. So the RSS oh. is like notorious in India. People in India, like when they hear about this, they're like, holy crap. Like the prime minister showed up to this. Oh my God. <laughs> um, mm. But most people, they're just like unwittingly, completely unwittingly, they don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. What do you he think know. about someone of this authority within the country showing up to this event and yeah, this organization and lending their legitimacy to uh. this? In the message it sends back home in india like what do you think about the armin i think I, th I don't think he knows what okay i don't know okay i was just guessing that they don't know what they're supporting because they wouldn't yeah. they wouldn't support it if they knew i don't think they would support it if you know like i don't think like his man is like you know i think he's like oh this is hindu stuff yeah <laughs> cultural i'm pro cultural stuff like so they didn't look into the background of what they're supporting i think you know i don't know um, but they should have. Like I'm not saying they they. they um, that means that that's okay. By the way, uh, Forever Stormy is mentioning us that he's no longer PM. Yeah, at the writing of this article, he was still Prime Minister. I mean, this happened. This was written uh, two days ago. So <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. by the time this is clipped, he is no longer Prime Minister. But yeah. he was until like i feel like within 48 hours okay, okay. <laughs> um forever stormy is saying i have lived in australia for a long time the hindutva groups there are smaller but worse than the ones in the u.s how are they worse stormy i would like to know like, um and this is a very good point by stormy sanskrit is a way for them to push hindutva in scriptures they will never propagate any other indian language yes this is a huge deal in india the fight over which languages are taught is a huge deal and was actually a recently a huge controversy with Amit Shah, the Home Secretary, basically saying that um, the language of the country should be nationalized to Hindi, which is like a huge deal. Like wars have been fought over this kind of thing. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so it's a, it's a hot button issue. Did we say hi to, did we say thank you to Norse Mythology becoming a new member? Yes, we did. I mean, oh, okay. we did it. let's do it again. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for becoming a member of Norse Mythology. Yeah. Um, All right. Can we clap for the next news? Wait, this is quick, really quick. Shake B is saying, this is not some just random citizen. How can a government body not know about this? I think it's because when you are a politician and you want to get votes from a minority community, you just have some advisor that says, oh, this group wants to talk to you. And they're like, sweet, want to get the Indians. They seem to like have legitimacy. Let's go with them. Like it's it's very, um, it's not very well thought out. They're just trying to like tick off the boxes of the different constituents. Right. Unfortunately. I mean, the same way Rudy Giuliani went, come, goes and speaks for the MEK. Mike Pompeo is... went to go see the MEK in Albania recently. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So bad. That's that's way worse. That's than a whole different this. story. <laughs> that's way yeah. worse than this. Yeah. Oh wow. Um Harish is saying this channel is a fake channel funded by Care. Is that are you Care? I think you the missed... Council of American Islamic Relations. <laughs> For Islamic American relations. Don't fall for it. Okay, well. If that's the same. case, when are they going to send me my check? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind being funded by CARE. So that would help, actually. Thank you so much for letting us know. It's still not as oh. good as being paid by Mossad, but we'll take it. <laughs> yeah. We want Mossad money. But I'm saying, hi, hi Armin. Durud Suzy Junam. Ah, Durud Gassam Aziz. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.